Travel Eyes with Lou, session six. We're going to start by warming up through the neck and the shoulders. Bring yourself to the edge of your chair so your feet are planted flat on the ground. Shoulders relax from the earlobes. Sitting upright, lift your rib cage over your hips. Think about lifting the back off the back of your chair and take a nice soft breath in. Exhale deeply. Start to turn the neck towards the right side, relax the shoulders, inhale come back to centre, exhale turn to the left, inhale to centre, good, exhale to turn, inhale, be really gentle, allow the neck to turn and rotate on its own, don't try and force that motion, good, one more each way, centre, turn to the left, come back to centre, lovely, now look down, drop your chin to your chest, Feel the opening at the back of your neck. Take a deep breath in, float your head to upright and then lift your chin, look directly up with the eye line. Press the tongue to the roof of your mouth, exhale, and then inhale back to center. Good, drop chin to chest, exhale, look down, lengthen the back of the neck, shoulders from the ears, inhale, float to center. Exhale, look on up, press the tongue to the roof of the mouth, look up through the eye line, exhale, inhale to center. Drop chin to chest, exhale, look down. Inhale, look directly ahead. Chin looks on up, eye line lifts. Exhale, press the tongue to the mouth. Inhale to centre, one more. Exhale, drop chin to chest. Good, inhale to centre. Exhale, look on up. You wanna be looking with eye line and chin. And then inhale, come to centre. Think about creating a, a long, wide, round collar neckline. We're going to drop the chin to the chest, exhale, look down. Now we're going to gently roll our chin along to our ear, ear to shoulder blade. Good, then inhale to centre. Exhale, roll the ear along the collar line towards the shoulder blade. Shoulders relaxed. Inhale, roll the chin back to centre. Be really gentle as you exhale and inhale, making a quarter circle each way. Being really gentle, relaxed through the shoulders. Any pain, come back to the previous exercise. From here, we're going to draw a round circle with the neck, coming chin to chest, inhale, then exhale, rolling along the collar line, looking up gently, eye line and chin, then rolling ear to the opposite shoulder, rolling down, inhale, chin to chest, take it the other way, exhale, roll along the collar line, ear to the shoulder blade, lift the chin and eye line, look up, roll to the other shoulder, Inhale, roll chin to chest. One more each way. Exhale, looking up. Ear to the opposite shoulder. Inhale, roll chin to chest. One more. Exhale, roll along the collar line. Looking up with eyes and chin. Ear to the opposite shoulder. Inhale, roll to centre. Then float the chin upright, relax through the shoulders. Have your hands placed on your thighs. Take a soft breath in. You're going to draw the shoulder blade up. Squeeze the shoulders closed and glide them down. Think about drawing a capital D shape as you lift the shoulder blade up. Close the shoulders behind you and roll them down. You could be rolling your shoulders as well as your palms on the side of your thighs. Gentle in and out breath. Relax any tension off the neck. Let it go. Let's reverse. We're going to squeeze the shoulders closed behind us. Roll them up so we're rounding over the shoulder blades and then gently glide them down. Squeeze the shoulders closed, gentle in and out breath. Roll the shoulders forwards and up and then gently glide down. Good, do a few more. Squeeze close, lift and round forwards and down. Two more, squeeze, lift and roll and down. One more. Good, now as you glide the shoulder blades down, lengthen the neck and float the sternum. Lift the rib cage over the hips and think about lifting the back a little bit straighter. Take a soft breath in and lift your pelvic floor. Exhale, focus on your abdominals, flattening from hip bone to hip bone. A thick leather belt wrapping over those hips and buckling to do those abdominals up. Good, bring your hands to face height, elbows away from those ears. Good. Lengthening your neck, take a deep breath in. Exhale, glide your shoulder blades down your back. Now I want you to think about drawing them down into your waistline beneath your rib cage. 
You're going to glide your elbows down to your waist and see if you can create a lovely widening of the chest. Inhale, hands come to face height. This is called stop signs. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades down. Think about keeping the sternum lifted. Think about lifting your back up, right? Inhale, hands to face height. Shoulders not up into the earlobes. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades down. Think about your mid-back connection. Inhale, hands to face height. If I turn to the side, as I exhale, you'll notice I'm drawing down through my shoulder blades. I feel a narrowing into the center of my back. Inhale, hands to face height. I want you to think about your flattening abdominals too. So as you exhale, your abdominals want to be flattening from hip bone to hip bone, gliding down through the shoulders. Inhale to face height. Let's do three. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Good. And inhale. One more. Exhale. Now keep drawing down through the shoulder blades into the waistline. Keep the hands at about chin or throat height. Good. Gently relax the arms to your sides, relax off the shoulders and soften through your abdominal and pelvic floor connection to have a little break. Lovely, we're gonna do a little bit of movement through the pelvis before we roll through the spine. So I want you to place your hands on your hip bones, have your feet flat on the mat or the ground once more. You wanna make sure again, you're not slouching back into the back of your chair. You wanna lift your rib cage over your hips. You wanna lift yourself upright, lifting the sternum so you've got a nice connection to the chest, feeling supported through the rib cage and the spine. And all of the abdominal muscles are now going to switch on to support us. Take a soft breath in to lift the pelvic floor. As you exhale, the abdominals are flattening, the leather belt wrapping and buckling up. Hands on those hip bones, take a deep breath in. Now I want you to think about a gentle tilt of your pelvis forwards. As if you feel your tailbone between your butt cheeks. Start to gently lift on up, hips gently forwards. Some of you may feel that this pressure in your lower back is too much. Then I want you to take a deep breath in and think about floating your pelvis underneath your rib cage once more. Taking the movement backwards, we're gonna tilt the pelvis back, releasing the lumbar spine into a little lumbar spine curve, feeling that we've flattened or scooped through the abdominals. And then we're gonna inhale, lift the pelvis directly under the rib cage. From the side, it looks like so. On the exhale, tilt the pelvis forwards. You can see a little rounding or an arching of my lumbar spine, my tailbone lifting gently. Then I'm gonna inhale, come back to center, pelvis and hips and ribs aligned. And then exhale, tilt the pelvis under. See that I arch or C curve through my lumbar spine. Good, take a deep breath in, making sure I come back to lift pelvis under that rib cage. One more either way, exhale, tilt. Coming into what we call anterior or forward pelvic tilt, feeling that the lumbar spine connects by arching and then coming back to neutral, inhale. Last one, we're gonna tuck the tailbone round through the lumbar spine. Feeling our abdominals flattening, we're gonna inhale, lift ourselves on upright. Beautiful, think about this posture as being your neutral spine and the optimum position you wanna be in. Good, from this position, Hands are gonna float up into our hug a tree stretch, clasping onto the fingertips. I'm gonna to turn to the side, adding in that little posterior or backwards pelvic tilt for this exercise to make the stretch look bigger. Keep your shoulders from your ears, you want your abdominals on. Take a deep breath in, drop your chin to your chest. Now these clasped fingers are gonna exhale, be pulled away from the chest. You can see I'm rounding through my upper back to send my shoulders wide. To make my stretch bigger, I'm gently gonna tuck my tailbone underneath my pelvis and round through my lumbar spine. Good, as I inhale to float my chin and bring my fingers back towards me, I'm bringing the pelvis directly under the rib cage. Let's do three more. Inhale at the top, chin to chest. Exhale, pull the fingertips away from the chest to round and open that back. And then exhale, drop the pelvis underneath my uh, hips as I gently release and round through my lower back. Inhale, lift, lift the chin, lift that pelvis back to neutral. Good, chin to chest, exhale, pull the fingertips away, rounding through the upper back, release the tailbone under, coming into a lovely lumbar spine rounded position, and then inhale, lift, and come back to neutral. Let's do one more. Chin to chest, exhale, 
lovely. Inhale, lift ourselves on upright and relax. Good, place those hands onto the thighs. Let's do a little bit of rounding in rolling. Keeping ourselves upright, thinking about your neutral spine where your pelvis is neither tilted forwards or back, it's directly underneath your rib cage where you begin. Inhale, lift your pelvic floor, exhale, flatten those abdominals. Hands are on the thighs. Take a deep breath in, once again drop the chin to the chest, look down. Now as you exhale, I want you to sink your head in front of your rib cage. Run your hands over the thighs, start to flatten out those abdominals as you sink your ribs towards your hips, coming into a rounded forwards position. You should feel that your lumbar spine is gently being pulled into a small rounded position. Your pelvis gently tilts back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to scoop through the abdominals. Start to roll yourself on upright, lifting one vertebrae at a time before you lift your chin back over your sternum and relax your shoulders. A breath in at the top from the side. Drop the chin to the chest. Exhale, sink the head in front of the chest line. Sink the ribs towards the hips as you release your upper body forwards. And then begin to tilt the pelvis gently back to open and round through the lumbar spine as the hands run over the knees. Take a deep breath in here. Using your tummy, exhale, pull or scoop through those abdominals. As you start to stack the vertebrae upright, pelvis back underneath the hip, the ribs, sorry. And roll the vertebrae on top to lift yourself tall. Shoulders down, chin over the sternum, two more. Inhale, drop the chin to the chest. Exhale, sink the head in front. Good, sink the ribs towards the hips. Scooping out those abdominals. Begin to let the pelvis tilt back gently to open up through the lumbar spine, hands over the knees. A nice deep breath in. On the exhale, scoop through the tummy. You can use your hands into your thighs if you need to help. Lift the pelvis back underneath the rib cage and then stack the vertebrae one at a time on top before you float the chin on the sternum, relax the shoulders, last one, a deep breath in. Chin drops to chest, exhale, sink and melt. Now we're letting the upper body roll forwards over the thighs. At that last moment, we let the tailbone gently sink underneath us, pelvis lightly tilting back to release that arch of the lower back. Take a deep breath in, hands in the thighs if you need. Exhale, scoop through the tummy, Lift the pelvis underneath the rib cage first and then start to stack the vertebrae tall. Lift the chin over the sternum, relax the shoulders. Feel that you've come back to your neutral spine and then switch off and have a little break. So beginning with arm prep, relax your shoulders from your earlobes to lengthen your neck. Lift the back of your body off the back of your chair and sit tall on your pelvis. You want to align your rib cage over your hips. Take a nice soft breath in and lift your pelvic floor between your legs. Exhale, focus on the flattening of that one inch band of muscle between your hip bones. Reach your arms out in front of your chest. As you exhale to reach the arms on up overhead, we want to sink the ribs in and down, drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. Don't lean back, inhale, hands over chest. Good, exhale, arm prep, arms reach overhead, shoulders draw down, ribs are sinking towards the hips on the exhale. Inhale, hands down to chest height. You can have one hand on the side of your rib cage as you exhale for arm prep and inhale, draw the hand down to chest height. Exhale, draw the shoulder from the ear. Think about sinking the ribs on down. You could even push the hand into your rib cage. Exhale and inhale. Try to keep your rib cage over your hips. Don't lean back into the back of your chair. Try to think about keeping yourself sitting upright. Exhale, arm prep, and inhale, hands down. Two arms could be working as one. Think about keeping that sternum floating upright. Don't sink your chest forwards. Try to keep that sternum lifted. Good, let's do two. Exhale, arm prep. Ribs in and down. Inhale, hands to chest. On this, our last one, exhale, arm prep. Stay lifted. Take a deep breath in. You're going to clasp onto your wrist or, or hold onto your fingers. Now on a deep exhale, shoulders down. We're going to pull on our wrist or our fingertips and stretch over into our side bend. Opening up the side of rib to hip on one side. Really pull on the arm gently to get a deeper stretch. 
Inhale, lift the ribs over the hips. Let's do that three more times. Exhale, into our side bend. Inhale, lift the ribs over the hips, shoulders from the ears, lengthen your neck. Exhale, gently pulling on the wrist or the fingertips to lengthen the arm across the body. Good, inhale, ribs over hips, last one. Exhale, good, inhale, float that rib cage over the hips. Let's change sides, grab onto the wrist or the fingers, shoulders from the earlobes, keep your rib cage over your hips. Exhale, side bend, gently pull on your wrist or your fingertips to lengthen the arm over the body. Inhale, ribs over hips, shoulders from the ears. Exhale, side bend, opening up the side of one body, really thinking about lengthening the arm across. Inhale, good, two more. Exhale, side bend. Inhale. Let's make this our last one. We're going to exhale, side bend. Inhale, ribs over hips. Relax the arms by your side. Good. Roll the shoulders. Take a little breather. Moving on from here, we're going to look at our seated tailors. So we're going to bring our hands up into the stop sign position. Hands are going to come up into this position. Bent elbows, hands at face height. Shoulders from the earlobes. Take a deep breath in for pelvic floor. Then exhale to switch on that T-zone. Flatten those abdominals. Keep your rib cage floating over your hips, float your sternum. Take a deep breath in and on the exhale, I'd like you to glide your shoulder blades down your back. Elbows drawing towards that waistline. Good, lengthen the arms, keep the elbows softly bent. Hips stay on your chair as you exhale to rotate. Underneath your waistline, where there are no bones between that rib and hip. Inhale to centre, shoulders down. Exhale, spine twist. Inhale to centre. Now we're going to close our forearms by squeezing our elbows together. You want to think about opening up your shoulders wide at the back of the body. Take a deep breath in. Open up the arms back to that stop sign position. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades down, elbows towards the waist. Lengthen through the arms. Keep the shoulders down. Exhale, spine twist. Keep your buttocks on your chair. Inhale to centre. Good, shoulders down. Exhale, spine twist. Inhale to centre. Good, close at the forearms, drawing the elbows together, give them a squeeze, exhale. Good, as you inhale, open up, bring your hands back to face height, elbows down. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades down your back, sternum forwards, lengthen through the arms. Exhale, spine twist, we're keeping the buttocks on the chair. Inhale to centre. Good, exhale, spine twist. Inhale to centre. Good. Close the forearms. Exhale, squeezing the elbows together, widen through your back. Inhale, open up, hands at face height. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down, elbows to the waist, widen through the arms. One more. Exhale, we twist underneath that waistline, underneath the ribcage. Inhale to centre. We're checking that the shoulders are away from the earlobes. Exhale, spine twist. Inhale to centre, good. Closing, squeeze the elbows together, exhale, widen through the back. Lovely, inhale, open up the arms, hands at face height. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down your back, stay switched on, release your arms, switch off and have a little breather, relax through those abdominals. Well done, beautiful. From this position, we're gonna work into dumb waiter. So looking at external rotation through the shoulder. For this positioning, we can rest one hand on the thigh. We're going to bring one elbow in tight into the rib cage at the side of the body. Now the shoulder wants to stay down. We also want the forearm to be just a little bit lower than that 90 degree angle through the elbow, just to take pressure off of the bicep. Sit upright, float the sternum forwards and up. Inhale, lift the pelvic floor. Exhale, flattening through the abdominals. Keep your back off the back of the chair. Shoulder blade from the ear. Now pushing your elbow into your waist, you're going to externally rotate from the shoulder joint, the forearm as well as this flat um, wrist. So as you exhale, rotate out, keep your shoulders level. Inhale, draw the arm back in line. Now keep this elbow tight to the body. As you exhale, abdominals, flattening. 
We're gonna externally rotate the full arm in the shoulder socket. Good, inhale to center. Lovely, exhale, done waiter. Elbow cut quite tight to the body. Inhale, draw it back on in. Good, three more, exhale. And inhale in. Beautiful work, keep yourself upright. Sternum floating, exhale. Abdominals flattening. Inhale. Good, one more. Exhale, done, waiter. And inhale in, lovely. Turn the palm to face inward. Same motion, keep the drop. So the elbow's not quite at 90, it's a little bit lower. Shoulder blade from the ear. We're gonna continue the external rotation on the exhale, but push the back of your palm and wrist away from your rib cage. Keep the elbow close, inhale in. Good, exhale. And inhale in, lovely. Exhale, push, elbow into the ribcage, shoulder blade down, inhale in. Lovely, three more, exhale, and inhale. Beautiful, exhale, and inhale your last one. And inhale in, place this hand down, let's change sides, palm facing up, elbow into the side, shoulder blade down, arm just below 90 degrees. Squeeze the elbow in tight. On the exhale, you're gonna externally rotate the full forearm and wrist through the shoulder joint. Elbow stays close to the rib cage. Inhale in. Good, five more, exhale. And inhale. Try and think about the shoulders staying level, drawn down from the earlobes. So this external rotation is through the shoulder joint and it works all of those small stabilization muscles, the rotator cuff, interspirantus. Good. Two more. Exhale, squeeze the elbow in tight, rotate out, inhale in. Last one. Exhale and inhale. Turn the palm to face inwards, elbow just below 90, elbow into the ribcage, shoulder down. Externally rotate but press the back of the palm and the wrist out. Good. Inhale in. You want to squeeze the elbow in tight so we're not using any of the other joints. We're really focused on external rotation at this shoulder. Feeling the full arm, head of the bone, rotate in the socket. Three more. Good, staying upright. Two. Last one, exhale. And inhale, rest the arms down. Roll the shoulders, have a little break. Well done. We're gonna do a little bit of upper body and lower body abdominal connection just to finish off our class. We've done a lot of mobility work today, so let's do a little bit of just centering our connection. So we're gonna start with our lift foot. Place yourself on the front edge of your chair. Your feet are flat on the ground. You wanna be able to lift your spine upright off the back of your chair, so you wanna think about using your corset muscles. Now we want to relax the shoulders, lengthen the neck, take your breath in, lift your pelvic floor. Exhale, abdominal connection. That thick leather belt wraps around the hips and buckles in front. Your abdominals are nice and flat. Place your hands on your hip bones if you'd like or on the seat of your chair or on the arms of your chair here. Now we're going to exhale, abdominals flattening to lift the foot from the mat for your foot lift. Inhale, place it down, change sides. Exhale, abdominals flattening to lift the foot from the mat. Good, keep it going. Exhale, lift foot, inhale to lower. Keep yourself upright, don't tilt back through your pelvis. If you just have a small foot lift, that could be enough for you. Hands on your hips, you're checking that your hips are staying level. You're not lifting your hip off the chair to get the foot off the ground. We really wanna work through a balanced pelvis and our foot lifts are the exhale coming from the flattening abdominal connection. Sternum upright, upper back, off the chair. Good, exhale and inhale, place it down. Now for those of you that wanna make this harder, the hands could go behind the head. You could lengthen the back of the neck by placing the chin lightly tucked to chest. You could go through your lift foot as such, just exhaling to lift the foot from the mat. To add on, we can add internal rotation into modified crisscross. As you exhale to lift the foot from the mat, you're now going to rotate across, up it towards the knee of your floated leg. Look out over your thigh. 
Inhale, come back to centre, place the foot down. Exhale, lift foot. Exhale, rotate underneath the waistline, drawing your elbow to the floated knee. Inhale to centre, place the foot down. Exhale, lift foot and rotate. Inhale to centre, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale and inhale. Good. So this is your level two of your lift foot, incorporating internal rotation, looking at modified crisscross, which is my favourite mat work exercise. Inhale to centre. Good. We'll do two more. One more each side. Exhale and inhale. One more. Come back to centre. Now keeping the hands placed behind the head, chin lightly tucked to chest, take a nice deep breath in. You could have hands over your chest if you cannot reach behind your head here. Now we're going to drop the chin to the chest then lengthen the back of the neck. Continuing on, we're going to exhale, lift one foot from the mat, lengthen the leg out in front. Inhale, bend the knee, place it down. Other side, exhale, lift and extend. Good, inhale, bend and down. Lovely, lift and extend. Inhale down, shoulders from the ears. Now this is lift and extend. For those of you that like this exercise and wanna stay with this level, you can stay here, looking at a level pelvis, those flattening abdominals at the lift foot and extension of the leg. Adding on, we can add that rotation. We're going to exhale to lift and extend. And as we extend, we're again gonna rotate at the waist, rotating internally. Inhale, unrotate and lower. Exhale, lift foot and extend, rotate. Good, inhale to center and down. Exhale, abdominals are flat, we rotate across, drawing the rib towards the opposite hip bone of the floated leg. Inhale and down. Exhale, crisscross with leg extension. Good. Beautiful. Let's do two more on each side. Keep yourself lifted. Keep those abdominals flattening. Think about internal rotation, the armpit or elbow towards that floated knee. One more each side. Last one. Come to centre, place the foot down, relax your hands down. Hands come now onto the hip bones, lift yourself upright, ribs over hips. Make sure you've got a defined waist, you haven't shrunk back into the back of the chair. Good. Inhale, lift the pelvic floor, exhale, flatten through those abdominals. Now we're going to go into a small circular motion from the pelvis. You can take this as bent knee or straight leg if you're able to hold extension. Keeping yourself upright, we're going to exhale, lift the foot. Again, it could be a small lift. It does not have to be at hip height with that knee. Now you can start to draw a little circle with the bent knee from the hip joint. It could be really small. It could be the size of a teacup. Those of you that want more can lengthen the leg and now start to draw the circle from this full extended leg. Good. Think about drawing a few circles one way and then holding the leg strong, either in the bent knee position or the straight leg, chest upright and reversing the circle. Just for a few. Breathe in and out nice and deeply. Keep the rib cage lifted over the hips, that waist defined, abdominals flat. Two. One, come back to bend the knee and place the foot down. Let's take it to the other side. Lift yourself, abdominals on, exhale, lift the foot. Keep this bent knee position and draw a few circles or lengthen out the leg and point on out. Good, start to draw a circle with in and out breath. Think about the whole leg rotating in the hip joint. Keep the, keep the chest lifted, your waistline defined. Once you've done a few circles one way, we can reverse it the other way. Keep yourself lifted, abdominals nice and flat, shoulders down. Inhale and exhale, two more. Last one, let's bend the knee, place the foot down. Stay lifted, stay switched on, don't lose it yet. Good, from this positioning now let's work through the upper abdominals, the obliques, hands are on the thighs. Take a deep breath in, shoulders down. We're going to exhale for our arm prep. Good. Take a deep breath in. You're going to reach on over, place one hand onto the side of the thigh, 
As you reach on over, exhale, rotate and look over to the side of your chair. Take a nice deep breath in here. Good, unrotate, reach on over a little bit deeper, exhale. Good, inhale and exhale, rotate. Good, inhale to center. Lift the rib cage over the hips, relax the arms on down. Changing sides, take a deep breath in, exhale, arm prep. Ribs are drawing down towards the hip bones. From this position, we're going to exhale, reach on over. Now one hand reaches onto the side of the thigh. You're going to reach into a side bend, opening up rib to hip on one side, inhale. Now you're gonna to rotate to look over the thigh or the arm of your chair. Good, inhale, come back to center and exhale, reach a little bit deeper. Keep your hips on the chair. Exhale, rotate and look over, get a nice stretch. Inhale to center, bring your ribs over your hips and relax the arms down. Beautiful. Well done. Let's make that a little bit bigger now. Let's go into what we call sunrises. So we want to stay lifted and upright. We're going to use that nice reach on over position and we're going to come into what we call flat back. So I'm going to turn my chair to show you. We'll just do a, do, do a few of these on each side. Take a deep breath in, lift the pelvic floor and lift yourself on upright off the back of your chair. As you exhale, switch on those abdominals, flattening from hip bone to hip bone. Good, take a deep breath in, shoulders down. We're going to exhale, reach one arm on up. We can place one hand onto the thigh or on the arm or side of your chair. We're going to exhale, reach on over into our lateral flexion or side bend. Take a deep breath in. Now you're gonna to rotate to look over the arm of your chair, just like you did previously. And then I want you to reach forwards into this flat back position. Good, take a deep breath in and slowly melt your forehead between your knees, coming into a rounded position. Take a deep breath in, place your hands on the thighs and then exhale, roll yourself on upright, lifting through the spine, other side. Take a deep breath in, hand on the side of the chair. Exhale, reach on up. Hand could be on the arm if you choose, and over, exhale. Lovely, take a deep breath in, rotate to look over the arm of your chair, keep your buttocks down onto that chair. Exhale, reach forwards, coming into a nice stretch in a flat back position. Good, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, flattening through the abdominals. Roll and melt your forehead between your knees. Place your hands on your thighs, deep breath in. Exhale, push and roll yourself on up. Good, one more each way, nice deep breath in. Exhale, reach on up, hand onto the side of the thigh or the chair. Exhale, reach on over. Good, nice deep breath in, rotate and turn your chest to look over the arm of your chair. Lovely, as you exhale, reach forwards now, get a nice stretch on the back. Now on a deep exhale, we're gonna to start to melt and roll the forehead into the center of the knees, arms, hands placed on the thighs, a deep breath in. Exhale, roll yourself on up, one more. Deep breath in, exhale, reach on over. Rest the other hand onto the side of the thigh, the arm of the chair, the side of the chair. Good, take a deep breath in, rotate your chest to look over the arm of your chair, buttocks stay down. Exhale, reach forwards into a flat back position. And then on the next exhale, using the abdominals, scooping, roll the forehead to melt between the knees. Place the hands on the thighs, a nice deep breath in. Exhale, scoop through the tummy and lift yourself on up. Beautiful. You should feel nice and relaxed. Excellent work utilizing some upper body and spinal mobility today. I'll see you next week for your next session. Bye.